Shabbat Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Stone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. And uh, today we're going to get into a lesson on how the true Independence Day is uh, it's coming really soon, all right? It's when uh, Yahweh Shai comes back, all right? And also that, uh, you know, money's not going to profit you in the day of wrath, all right? All right, which that's, uh, uh, give real quick a uh, wisdom of Solomon 18. Because uh, 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 deliverance and destructions and destruction happens at the same time, all right? It's simultaneously, mm -hmm. yep. okay? So if you're not right with Yahweh Ba Shem you know, you're going to be destroyed. You're not going to get saved. Mm -hmm. But if you are, you know, uh, on good terms with Yahweh Ba Shem you will be delivered. Mm -hmm. All right, you see? What is it, 18 and 5? Uh, 18 and 7. 7. Excuse uh, me. <clears throat> Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 7. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like you were saying, it's uh, synonymous. Yeah. You know, that's salvation and destruction. <laughs> Lord will, we be able to let you get beamed up. These nukes are going to be raining down on these people, man. And that's the, this is what he's going into, the true Independence Day, man. Yep. These niggas popping these fireworks and all this bullshit to go go get oppressed, go to work the next day. Mm -hmm. yep. Exactly. Keep reading this one more verse. Yep, it says, yeah. verse 8, For wherewith thou didst punish our adversaries, by the same thou didst glorify us whom thou hast called. Yep, all right. So, <clears throat> you know, like the brother you know just mentioned, it's going to happen simultaneously. That destruction and salvation, simple as that, mm -hmm. okay? And that's the problem with our people. They don't believe that uh, uh, salvation is coming. You know, they think that this is the end-all, be-all be all of all kingdoms. You know, like that guy, uh, what was it, Anton uh, uh, Daniels? Right. All right. You know, he, he's one of those, uh, I guess, an influencer. That's, uh, you know, YouTube, TikTok, all those, you know, social media platforms. All right. He makes a little bit of, you know, uh, uh, money. You know, basically, he just gets a little bit of crumbs off the elite's table, mm -hmm. okay, is able to buy a Porsche, which I'll say this real quick. If you have a Porsche, that doesn't mean shit, all right? It's actually a low-level car still, mm -hmm. all right? It's only a couple, th uh, what, a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars, depending on which model you get. Mm -hmm. you, you, have, you haven't even hit the millions in the car yet, all right? But that's neither here nor there, whatever, right? But what I'm trying to get at is people like him, all right, think they made it, and, they, and they're cool, you know what I'm saying? But when, when all hell breaks loose, okay, these people are going to be in, in the worst case scenario, all right? Because they don't have Yahweh Bashim al Shah, you know? And I, I probably would have had Salaki. Oh, yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, to back up the wisdom of Solomon, uh, Zechariah 13, verse 8 and 9, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, you know, in Babylon, America, say the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my God. You see? So, yeah, we can't wait for this to happen. You know, we don't care about two-thirds. Not all Israel is Israel today. That's right. And we're going to be pulled through the fire, all right? Divine intervention is coming, man. You see? Hey, if I may, I just want to uh, back you up, see, because... Uh, you go into that word independence and the etymology, it just goes in on like um, basically uh, trusting in others or basically trusting in the government. So our people, you know, uh, today, they trust more in themselves. They trust more in the, uh, the, the, the present commonwealth of the world than trusting in the Heavenly Father. In which the book Isaiah 31 and 1 told us, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots. Because they are many and horsemen, because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So a lot of these people, like, like the brother was talking about, man, hey, that independence, you have nothing to be celebrating for today, man. You know, we are still in captivity, and like the brother, he made a good point about these people. Tomorrow they're going to be oppressed thinking about the hundreds and thousands of dollars that they spent on this one day and with these kids making all this noise for nothing, man. Exactly. It's all for naught, man. It's all vanity. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a, a vain day. Yep. You're still going to be oppressed. You're still, you know, uh, going to have uh, 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 bills to pay. You know, you're subject to payments. Yep. You know, 
The cops are going to be on your ass. The, uh, your boss is ready to fire you. Uh, well, you're not, you're not a, a, a free, okay? You're not free. Because a, a sovereignty comes from Yahweh Bashim al That's a wisdom of Solomon. If a brother can get that, what is that? Is that six, huh? six um, and three? Yeah. Um, you know? I would say the bug got a part about this holiday for real, too. Another bug got a part is Jake just fucking celebrated Juneteenth, which is supposed to be Jake's freedom. And then they turn around and fucking celebrate God, July 4th, too. Like, uh, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, what was the purpose of celebrating hey, Juneteenth, then? And like how a lot of brothers have said over the years, what was going on with you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans during July 4th, 1776? <laughs> I'll tell you. You, you, you were getting your ass whooped in slavery, getting yep. whipped, all right, getting your land taken, your, your w women were getting raped, so on and so forth, man. And the men, too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't want to, you know, I, I was trying to hold back, bro. Right, right. So you know what, hey, the brother said it. Right. Kids getting raped, yeah. uh, right. men getting raped. In front of their kids. You man, know what I'm saying? It, 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 the most horrific things were happening to you. you. You were getting tortured. Like you were a, a lab rat. You know what I'm saying? You're just for an experiment. Yep. Well, the, 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 like how the uh, one lady, I forgot her, God, ma yeah, Madam, yeah. I always forget her damn name, but Madam, Madam C.J. Walker. C.J. Walker. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say that. The, the one that's in, <laughs> that was in uh, 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 Louisiana, right? That, that's, uh, uh, whatever, point being, uh, there's this uh, this slave owner, mm -hmm. and she was in uh, Louisiana and New Orleans, and she was um, basically doing these crazy experiments with her slaves, man. All right, oh, like she would purposely break uh, 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 Jake's bones, not uh, uh, you know how you're supposed to have the cast to heal it properly. Yeah. Let it basically heal by itself to see you know what the body would do. Literally, chop off limbs, attach them. To, let's say they would chop off my arm, right? Ock? They'll like cut your you know your chest open, Ock, and then they'll take my arm and put it into your chest to see. If you could operate that, you know, uh, uh, that that arm that was, you know, uh, basically uh, uh, attached, you know, onto you. A guinea pig. Yeah, basically, Jake was a goddamn guinea pig during this time, man. Mm. And all other freaky shit. And they show you that in American Horror Story because it was, um, which one was it? Was it Coven? Is that the one with all the witches? I well, think it was Coven. Uh, yeah. Was it Coven? All right. Yeah. Uh, they show you that because uh, um, she's a part of the uh, uh, the storyline. And they show it, it, it uh, um, in one of the first episodes, all right, mm. what she was doing, man. She was disgusting. I got the... got, got fucking Jake having like animal mm. fucking uh, uh like you know uh, uh, basically like mask on and shit, bro. Yeah, because they wasn't looking at us as a human at all, man. They already thought of us oh, yeah. as uh, even in the um, what's it the Constitution? Basically, three fifths yeah, of a human. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Which is funny, they still use that three fifths on it in another thing as far as payment. But um, yeah, they look at you as a uh, three fifths of a human, bro. And, and still to this day, man. All right, and y'all sit, God knows, and you still celebrate this bullshit. I got a quick precept, bro. This is Jeremiah ten and one. Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith Yahweh, Learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them, man. Hey, man, you're not supposed right. to be uh, following the ways of the heathen. These uh, celebrations, July 4th, out of all these fucking um, holidays, you celebrating your slavery, bro. Jay got Stockholm Syndrome, bro. <laughs> right, and then emancipate is the uh, transfer from one uh, ma uh, yeah. slave master yeah. to another, right. man. All right? You still slaves, nigga. You're not free. Mm -hmm. You're through, man. I hate these niggas, bro. Like, they so bugged out. Like the brother said, uh, how the hell did you, even though that's bugged out too, how the hell you celebrate uh, June 19th or Juneteenth or whatever and then turn around and celebrate this, bro? Did you know there was people that still thought they was fucking slaves in the 1900s, bro? Shit, they still do it to this day. You just had that, that uh, white couple adopt the, these two black uh, uh, kids. And had them as slaves, literally, yeah. in their barn, man. Yeah. This is what's happening. You're telling me you're you're a, 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 a freak? You people are bugged out. But then, uh, uh, real quick, that lady's name was uh, uh, Madam, uh, was it Lala Ray? I, I got it. Um, it's, It changed from birth. It was Mary Delphine, mm -hmm. Delphine. Mm -hmm. And then she changed it to Lala Marie Delphine. Yep. So that, that that's who we were talking about. All right? You know, just so uh, Jacob uh, wants to look up that history... 
You know, and she she was a, 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 a very sick individual. And, and we're, we're going to get these people back in the kingdom, man. That's All right, because right, look, in, in order to really be free, man, you, you have to have resources. And resources consist of gold, silver, minerals, land, cattle, and what? Slaves, man, etc. But slaves are, are one of them. That's, right. That's when you're really free. When you can tell somebody of another nation, do X, Y, Z things. And if you don't do X, Y, Z things, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. That's right. Okay? You're going to get punished for this. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, what you got? That was Psalm 6. Yeah, yeah, you can get that. It's, uh, wisdom of Psalm 6 and 3. For power is given you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest, who shall try your works and search out your counsel. Mm -hmm. So you can only get sovereignty from the Lord, man. These people are mentally thinking, that, they don't even think they're free mentally. These niggas just happen to shoot fireworks, beat niggas, shoot guns with it too. Kill motherfuckers. And, and partying and bullshit. Jacob do anything to party and bullshit. Oh, this is the day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to celebrate this. Oh, I get off and I can do this and do that. Well, I'm going to celebrate that. They, <laughs> it say our people, is Israel a home slave? Got it. Yeah, yeah, I'm holding it. that too. Kind of it's cool. the book of Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 14. Start, it's out, start at like uh, 12. All right. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 12. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, saith the Lord Yahweh, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and healed them out of cisterns, yeah. broken cisterns. Exactly. So they, they forsook the, the true living waters, which is Yahweh Bashimah Shai, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yep. Okay? And they decided to, to, to what, what did it say? They decided to do what? Heal them out. Heal them out of cisterns, broken cisterns. Yeah. All right, talking about. These other philosophies, okay? <laughs> they took a cistern that's broken, try to fill it up with some water and, and, and drink it. Right. You know, <laughs> they act like that's gonna replenish them. They tried to glue it together first. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Just through, bro. Oh, shit. It doesn't benefit you. All these other philosophies don't benefit you, and it's evident. Look, <laughs> Catholicism, all right, it, it has completely destroyed Jake. I mean, just. It's evident, man. I mean, look at all the tribes. They are com com Christianity has literally killed our people and put them in the worst mindset. No one, bro. All right. It, it, our, our, our people are, are adulterers, murderers, homosexuals. Uh, you know, they, they eat any uh, everything and anything. Shit, a fucking nigga woman try to sell me a motherfucking alligator taco. Tuesday. And she's a Christian. You know she's a Christian, bro. She 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 she's trying to sell you this while she's got a chain on with the with the cross on. That, I think she did have a cross on. Yes, yeah, that little bitch had that little cross on the neck, and she was like, "Yeah, we got we got the ram and shit." This bitch tried to try to sell me a fucking alligator. I said, "How the fuck you get an alligator? Like, how the fuck did you even get that shit?" To cook? You know what I'm saying? Hey. Christianity has completely destroyed our people, man. Then then, then you, you oh my god, go to a fucking Baptist church, bro. The motherfuckers are fucking just shaking, screaming. Twerking. All right, twerking. <laughs> you go to a fucking Roman Catholic church, people are fucking praying to statues. The fucking just, you know, <laughs> giving a whole, their whole life story. Oh, yeah. You know, having a confession. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Losing their goddamn minds. Looking at a fucking statue. Got to remind people that they're praying to a fucking statue, bro. Yeah. Go out and do things. Yeah, they talk to her, they, they, they sacrifice the items, putting this shit Holy down, shit, man. the food down next to the feet and shit. That's just Christianity, man. Oh, yeah. Islam's destroyed you, Muslim, whatever, I don't give a fuck. Buddhism, the American dream has got you all bugged out, man. Through. The only people that got sound minds are the men of the Lord and the followers and believers. That's it. The rest of you are still stricken with madness. We're getting healed right now. We're not perfect. Okay? This is why we need your house shot. That's right. You know, the scriptures say, what, he's coming with uh, healing in his wings? Okay? But we're, we're, we're getting cleansed right now. All right? Mm -hmm. I was just reading the book of John, and it, it, it was very spiritual when uh, Yahweh Shai was uh, cleaning his uh, uh, um, his disciples, or later turned apostles. Okay? It, it was a spiritual uh, act. Because, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, he was physically doing it, washing the feet, okay? 
But, you know, uh, uh, spiritually, we're getting what? Cleansed by what? This, uh, this, word, this, this word, which is the, the water, man. Ooh. You know? Okay. You got it. Yeah, John 15 and 3, now ye are clean through the word which yeah. I have spoken unto you. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, and how shall a young man cleanse um, his way yeah. yeah. by taking heed there unto the word? You know, Psalm 119 and 9. Yep. You know? So yeah, you have, how shall is cleaning us up right now? We're getting uh, 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 prepared, man. All right, for his second coming right now. Renewing you know? the mind, yeah. Well, the rest of you people are shooting off fireworks, trying to uh, 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 get the bag. And the, the brother uh, 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 Detroit made a good point about about that term getting the bag. I never thought about this until I heard him say it. That uh, that, that 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 term actually goes back to uh, Judas getting the bag, selling out to get that money, bro, to get the what the bag. And uh, did, did that end well for him? No. Yeah, well, that that was because he, he felt guilty afterwards, you know. Mm -hmm. But Damn. point being though is you know there are people sell out. To get that bag, and if you're not uh, 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 following your how about Shimei Shah, you're selling out in some way, form, or fashion, man. Right. And it's not going to profit you in the day of wrath. Can you get that real quick? That was that Proverbs eight. I think you brought it up. Oh, talking Proverbs eleven. Eleven. Eleven like, and four. Yeah, yeah I, I got four. I'm telling you, uh, Proverbs eleven and four. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Yep. Exactly. It's not going to profit you in the day of wrath, right? You know, these riches. Mm -hmm. I don't care how many M's you have in your bank account. They ain't going to do shit. Guess what? In, in the days to come, it, Esau can hit a, a, a button, and that shit turns to zero. Fuck it. He'll say, you owe him. You're, yeah, negative. Yeah. You're, you're fucking negative bro, a couple mils now. That's it. You're right. You're going to fucking own it, man. Yep. All right? Exactly. Even if you have stuff, you know, uh, you know, that physical currency, you know, stuff that actually is money, Look, Esau doesn't care about your gold, your silver. Or oh, let me scratch, scratch that. The Lord doesn't care about your, your, your gold, your silver. He doesn't care about your land, your mm -hmm. business, you know, so on and so forth. What's going to save you is, is your, your faith and your works, yep. your righteousness, the charity you've been putting in, mm -hmm. the brotherly love. That's what the Lord is looking at. Yep. Oh, hey, brother. You know what? I see you got a couple of uh, 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 millions. Oh, you hit you hit the bill, and you know what? You you you're gonna be saved for that, brother. Right. <laughs> you the grand in the Esau. You the four the Esau king and raw hella folly. Tell niggas to get on folly, but you gonna get saved for that. And niggas always talk about money. Niggas don't have no money, man. You're all fucking bums, bro. <laughs> like I don't care money. if you have. Cause like I made a point, man. Real money is is slaves. Yep. Fucking gold, silver, land, water, real resources. That's money. You don't have that. Right. You would, what we're operating today is a fiat currency. It's like monopoly money. You right. just believe. You believe it's worth something, you know, and but soon it, it's going to be obsolete. Yep. You know? It's already like that, man. Yeah. yeah. You, and you see all the nations. Oh, there's a lot of countries leaving the U.S. dollar. Saudi Arabia didn't uh, re-sign the 50-year uh, petrol dollar agreement. Mm -hmm. they're, they're all moving to the bricks. It's all prophecy. Mm -hmm. You see? But none of the wicked shall understand. So... We don't marvel when these two thirds don't get it, man. Good. We just, you know, here for the defense of the gospel. You know, mm -hmm. so I can be elect. But I got a precept real quick. Proverbs 10, 2, treasures of wickedness profit nothing, mm. but righteousness delivered from death. You see, so this is Proverbs 10 and 2. Yeah, so righteousness is going to deliver you from death. You know what I'm saying? Following after after the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right? The, the right path. Because any other way uh, is death, literally. What these people are celebrating is a death sound, man. The Lord didn't ordain this this, this whole lie day, yeah. all right? This is some BS, man, yeah. to keep our people asleep. And you see it, they're wide asleep. Or they're, they're definitely asleep out there, man. Yeah. Dead while they live. And what the scripture says, I despise your feast days. And yeah. So I'm not, you know, Amos. Yeah, exactly. that's right. I got a precept about man. Speak yes, up, just um, speak up. Proverbs 23 and verse 5. It says, Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? It says, For riches certainly make themselves wings. They yep. fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Mm -hmm. so like the brothers again to man, these riches are not going to deliver you, you know, in the days to come, man. And like the, uh, the brothers been saying, man, this ain't even a real riches, man. All right? You know, you people have fiat currency. All right, which one day you're going to wake up and it's not going to be worth, uh, you know, it's not even going to be worth what, what, is, what, is, what is printed on you, man. All right? You know, 
So it's gonna cost more to make it than what it's worth, man. That's what's right. happening already. Mm -hmm. it's, that's why they want to do every. That's why everything's going digital. You know, it actually costs more money to print out. You know what I'm saying? That that, that, that note that says whatever amount is it, it, on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The actual value of this. That's America. Yeah. So America's why done, bro. Yeah. So why you people out here trying to chase that bag, man? All right. You know, and not and not and not chase the real riches. All right, which is this wisdom not to understand it. All right. You know, a a relationship with the Most High. And you people are gonna be out here without man that day, man. All right. And the men Lord are gonna have the real riches. Why? Because Scripture says, all right, that while you people was out here doing all this folly, we was throwing up our treasures in heaven, man. You know. You have that. Come. Come. It's uh Matthew six and nineteen. It says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right, so we gotta build up our spiritual bank account in this truth, man. Yep. Exactly. Get uh, that second as it's not in uh, seven. And and it's 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 um it's, it's sort of like manipulation too because he saw it in, he didn't convince Jake he saw it in convince Jake that 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 paper money is valuable to the point where Jake's killing Jake just to get it. Yep. Right. You know, and it has it has no value. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, these people still rely on the beast system. Yep. They wonder after the beast, as the scriptures say. And I've gone into that word wonder. All right, one of the words is admiration. One in the, for the definition, and then when you look in the, up the word admiration, goes into respect. Respect. Break that word down. Three meaning back. Respect means look. So they keep looking back at the beast for answers. You know. Instead of looking at Yahweh Bashem al for the answers. And the reason why they keep looking at him for answers is because he's an authority. You know, he's in power. So he's he's got all the money. He's got all the, you know, all, all the land. He's got the cars, the the, the buildings. He's got he's to gotta be doing something right. And the whole earth. You know, exactly. He's got the whole earth. He, yeah. he, he, he's got to uh, have the answers. He's got to be God. You know, that's how Jake really looks at the, 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 the Esau Edom, the so-called white man. This guy has to be God. And then they, you know, they go to the churches, you know, that, that's, you know, they've been going to these churches their whole lives, and all they see is white Jesus, white God, white apostles, white disciples, white angels. So they're, they're in their mind, like, this is, this is him. This is the nation. So that's why they keep following after him. Haven't you gotten, it? haven't you gotten the fucking memo that when you follow this guy's ways, you fucking die? Because look, all that rap culture, that black culture, because that's, what that shit is, man. Death culture. Wow. Alright? All that that rap shit. Alright? That drug that drug shit. That gangbang shit. That all comes from Esau. That's Esau, man. He's the one that loves you know, talking about killing people. Yeah. He loves, you know, like I like to say, you guys are gangbanging on the block. Esau gangbangs with fucking countries, bro. That's right. With the laws, too. You know? Ooh. And bangs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how he game bangs. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? They, he, 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 they even say what with the, the cops are the biggest gangs. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. They get scattered when they hit the ball. Like, you guys just learned this shit from your daddy. <laughs> and it hasn't done anything positive in your community. But see, what, what it is is Jake, you know, let's just say you got that one Jake, right? They did all that wicked shit and they get up a little bit. You know, and people want to you know be like that guy. Oh, we see, you know, look at him. If he can do it, yeah. I can. Well, everyone else is fucked up. But, 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 uh, you know, it's yeah, fucking wicked, man. Nigga driving the latest challenger, the freshest days. This nigga did all kind of wickedness, though. You know what I'm saying? Now you got these niggas. They 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 hood starstruck. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's dumb. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Huh? Trying to be that house a bit. Yeah, it reminds me of a nigga I used to work with. Yeah, this a nigga. He working the same job as me, but he sell cocaine and shit. He be selling to, to the Edomites that work there and the, the supervisor shit. So he come to that motherfucker iced out chains. We all got a uniform. He come to that bitch fully dripped out of shit. This one nigga, I'm talking, he dig around this man. So he look at this nigga, 
he got the chains on. Look, <laughs> but a nigga animated went too. He doing the movements and shit. <laughs> he man, look at this nigga. Man, he got the chains on. Bitch, you shattered this shit, man. I'm like, this nigga, man, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, do you know what type of wickedness this nigga doing? He selling eight balls of coke to any nigga that he can. And he giving the coke to the niggas that work there. The it's correct niggas that work there so they can dish it out and shit. And this dude over here wooed off of this dude wickedness just because he got chains on, man. Just because he got a couple nigga women. But that's how it is. These niggas don't care what you had to do. We were talking about the covenant. You got it. They want it. So they they go through the same shit. I got to drink some blood. I got to get wrecked. me, <laughs> clap by me. That, that's why uh, they got uh, influencers and oh, stuff yeah. like that set up, man. So you can be like, uh, uh, it's like, man, I got to have that. I got to do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh I, oh, I just got to do this? This ritual? Yo. Oh, I don't care. Like, yeah, shit. It's funny that you brought that out. I was just watching this thing. Like, I, I don't really watch this dude. I, but uh, what's his name? Mr. Beast? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. He, he, this dude yeah. recently uh uh you know I dressed up it. as a woman and shit. Oh my god. Uh, on his fucking uh, stream. Wow, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was crazy because they were talking to that one dude, um what's that oh you know how there's that big swole dude named Bradley? Bradley mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. what what's the other guy that, that that's cool with his one buddy? He's a little bit shorter. Kai Center? No, nah, uh wait, who is the one? He he actually came up. A uh, uh, Bradley uh, Mar- uh, his name Martin. Yeah, Martin Bradley yeah. Martin. That he, he came. Uh, uh, he was under him at one point. Um, uh, uh, he, he's the one dude that started. Uh, uh, I think that beer company, Happy Dad or some shit. Oh, I know. I know it's not. I forget the fucking name. He, he kind of swore too. He kind of got a fat ass nose and shit. Uh, yeah, they they, they banned him from uh, YouTube and all that shit. They had to go to Rumble. Whatever. Point being, the dude they were interviewing him. He's like, he, he was naming like all like these influencers and shit. He's like. Somebody had to do it. And it, it was Mr. Beast. Yep. He, he said it like he, he named like a, a slew of them because they all kind of grew up in the same generation coming up. And he was like, one of us had to do it. And it just so happened to be Mr. Beast. So shit. They all know that once you get to that level, they all get sat down. They get talked. You know, they, they have their talk. Yep. And then it's like, all right, are you going to keep going or are we going to strip your shit now? Because it, you know? Cause they, they exactly eventually all of a sudden, you know, you're gonna have all these allegations come up. You know, you, you were raping this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Did file. You, 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 you were a diddler. <laughs> you didn't pay taxes. All this shit's gonna start coming up, bro. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Out of nowhere. Right. So somebody said that hey, that dude said, "Fuck it, I'll, I'll be the fucking, you know, I, I'll be the sacrifice of the group." Mm. That's what happens, man. And then now you got little kids watching us. You know what? I, I do want to, you know, wear a dress. You got you know, a little fucking 10-year-old boy. You know, I think that is cool. Mr. Beast did it. Right. Maybe I should wear my mom's high heels. <laughs> so, yeah, so the other nigga on my block was saying that shit. I was helping, helping OG catch some dog and shit. But the nigga was basically like, I ain't finna grab a dog. I'm not casting that. I ain't young boy. I ain't NBA young boy. I'm like, what the fuck? But these are the niggas look up to, like, they get courage from these niggas, like, this nigga can do it, man, I'm, I'm gonna do it, he jumping off the building, I'm gonna do this shit. And, and the thing is, Esau knows that, that's why they running everything, like, record companies to everything, man, alright? They see that, so it's like, we're gonna push this, because it's gonna influence their kids, and it's gonna be that same cycle, man, and it's just gonna get worse, worse, and worse. Yeah, I mean, shit, look at what's going on at these, uh, uh these alphabet parades. Oh, God. Okay. It's so bad now. That literally dudes are just walking around butt naked and they got kids oh. l- there and they're just shaking their ass, sh- you know, shaking their junk right in front of them. Like, it, it, like it's cool, you know, like, you know, like it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's business as usual, you know, Wickedness. it's all good. That's why this is uh, Sodom, man. But you're free. Free to do they, what, though? That's what you gotta ask yourself. What are you free from? Free to die. Yeah, you, you, mm-hmm. you, you're free yeah. to do whatever, whatever wickedness you want in this place. Because mm-hmm. that shit, <laughs> look, man, we all know that that's pedophilia going on in that, you know, uh, uh, during those parades. Oh, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. 100%. Yeah, you saw another good man. The scripture says, train up a child and we can say, go. When he's older, he's coming out of the park. So, you know, you saw trials get that. You know, the younger the better, man. All right, because you can mold, you know, a child of nine more than you can mold an adult, man. Right? All right? And the scripture also talks about you got to uh, teach his son to the enemy, man. You know, so, you know, hey, Esau's 
all right to teach your kids before you teach them the right thing, man. You know, so so they, you know, so your kids can grow up, you know, uh, being a part of this system and being a part of you know. Hey, there was a teacher that told the student, she said, if your parents don't like what you're doing or uh, whatever, then you need new parents. Hmm. Wait, if say it again louder, bro. If your parents don't accept you being gay or accept you or who you are, then you need new parents. That's See what I mean? And there was another video, six times I remember, because the teacher was, was, uh, she, was she was a pre-K teacher and said, I can't wait to force these kids to, uh, to learn some gay, to learn something gay. Hey, oh, I, oh, yeah, I, I saw that. Pushing on them. Oh, and that's a preschool yeah. teacher, kindergarten teacher. Hey, I, I got a precept, and this is what uh, the brother, uh, the elder Shataria, uh, brought out earlier before we had the film going, bro. This song's 82 and 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course, man. Hey, them people, hey, according to the scriptures, it's supposed to be unalive, bro. Fast. You know what I'm saying? But, of course, we're not in that time right now. So, they, uh, sins are stacking up, man. They got a whole tab, man. And it's overflowing. And they're going to have to pay that, man. One way or another, man. Okay. They're going to have to pay for it. Yeah, you knew it was over when they took the Bible out of school and brought in the alphabet crew. Yeah. It was over. It That's crazy. The right they'll, like that. <laughs> they'll, you, you'll have a lawsuit. If you try to push the Bible out, you know, say if you're a teacher, right? If you try to push, you know, the uh, oh, yeah. uh, biblical standards, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. uh, on the students, right? But then somebody that's a part of the alphabet community will get get the pass if they push, you know, the, the alphabet activities out to their students. It, it's just confusing. And then when you uh, uh, not elect the president, president, but when the president is selected, the uh, inauguration is called, yeah. right? Uh, what do they bring out? The Bible. And, and the last two presidents, they bring out the Apocrypha just to let you know that the Apocrypha is part of the Bible. All right? <laughs> but yeah, man, they they choose when to use it and when not to use it. And they don't even use it in the right way. But, uh, the earth needs new management, man, by the end of the day. Exactly. Fucking crazy. Exactly. You're in a world full of pedals, freaks, creeps. Yep. All right. Murderers, witches. Yep. You know what I'm saying? All sorts of, you know, wizards. Yep. This is what you're around, and, and, and you people are cool with this? You, you, you are, but see, you're a part of the problem, man. Mm -hmm. You know? The scriptures talk about what? There's many antichrists, yes. all right, in the latter days. You know? I would bring that. You're all, you're all uh, anti messiah. Mm -hmm. All right, basically, you know, uh, anti Yahweh Shai. I got, I got that scripture, man. Yeah, yeah. Because they ain't gonna bring this out in the church, man. They think it's one dude with a suit, you know what I'm saying, with the hair somehow slicked back. <laughs> uh, this is First John two and eighteen, little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that antichrist shall come, mm -hmm. even now are there many antichrists. Whereby we know that it is the last time, man. All right? Yeah, man. If you're going against this truth, you are anti Hamashiach, man. You're anti Christ, man. 100%. So, you Christians, anti Christ. Muslims, anti Christ. Then whatever doctrine you own, as outside of this truth, anti Christ. Yup. And you see it. Anytime you bring out the scriptures, it's a problem. Like that, that, uh, that bitch ass nigga, like three weeks ago. <laughs> he said, no, 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 no. Don't bring, don't bring out the scripture. What do you feel? Yeah, I want your opinion. I'm dead. Yeah, the first time and then he a pastor. We heard that so many times. Anytime, Charlie, he a certified <laughs> pastor. Yeah, like, yeah, and I'm like, how the fuck you a certified pastor? But we bring out the scripture, you say, don't bring it out the oh, scripture. Oh, then he was selling loose squares. Yeah, he's selling loose squares, yeah. man. He's selling loose squares. Yeah, he's selling loose squares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loose squares, pass good line. Uh, hey, he is a certified pastor. <laughs> 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 Christian pastor. <laughs> this shit is just wicked, bro. Like, wow. <laughs> I mean, you, you people, man, are just demonic out here, and that's why you're gonna fucking die. And good. Yeah, going to that. It's gonna be beautiful yeah. when you people get get hit with the judgment. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm glad every fucking day that you know, you know, every day I you we be seeing all the judgment. You you be hearing you know people's you know stories. You know like oh man, I'm going through this and going through that. I, I be loving it like yeah. the water y'all watching my shot because they, they you people are, are getting brought down low, man. Be fucking 
faggots, man. Bro, making like you're right. I seen like uh, on the comic board motherfuckers <laughs> making like a hundred k, two hundred k, and they saying they living check to check, bro. They need it. Good. And, and all I can think of is that the Lord got us, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The Lord got us, bro. We saw how they was acting during the the demic, bro. You know what I'm saying? They all beyond through, bro, and never recovered either. But the thing is, the Lord got us, man. We was eating good, drinking good. We were stimulated. God knows. And it's just going to get better for us, man. It's a stimulation. God knows. In, in that day, oh, God knows. <laughs> in that day, my service shall eat. That's right. My service shall drink. Y'all going to be starving, man. Not only physically, but also uh, spiritually. You're fucking through, man. Ooh. Beyond, bro. <laughs> and, and then that's, that's a fucking terrible death when you starve to death, bro. Yeah. That's a slow, agonizing death, bro. <laughs> no hey, bueno. I'm just going to say, you know, if you look at them little kids over in Africa and yep, you see how they stomach big, they, they, they skinny. Flies on them. <laughs> stomach way out there. That's just, that's, that's man. That's they eating that. They, yeah. they, they starving to death, man. And, um. Ain't no joke. It's coming to a theater, man. You real soon, man. You <laughs> right. That shit yeah. ain't nothing to do because they, Jake think this shit, man, something to laugh about, man. But this shit yeah. about to hit him hard, man. And also, the scripture also tells you that uh, basically it's nothing to make a man rich, man. Right. For the Lord to make, huh? All of a sudden. Right. The Lord can do that instantly. Yeah. So when you see motherfuckers going through that, man, the Lord got something against your ass, man. Yeah. He ain't fucking with you, man. Right. And it's spiritual. We're already rich. You know that is true. But we're already rich real quick, though. Yeah. We already have everything that we need. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Like, we don't... Look. No, the scriptures say, well, give me a, 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 a neither poverty Damn, nor see, riches. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we got what we need. The, the Lord gives us enough food, you know, so we can pay our bills. Yep. You know, we're able to buy ourselves maybe some clothes here and there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, brothers have, you know, a car, a house, apartment, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We have enough. We don't... We don't need, you know, to oh, go yes. above and beyond, man, you know? Yep. And then if a brother does have that, you know, you know, because we do have, a, you know, a couple brothers in the truth that have a little extra money, right? Yeah. They, they help out. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? They help out. Yep. You know, with those who don't have it. Mm -hmm. don't but, have. but we all, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got what we need. Exactly. Right. Jake doesn't have jobs and you know what I'm saying? That they're not out there in the world. No, like we're around people who got so-called riches of this world and they're fucking losing. They're, yeah. they're, they're asking Jake for advice. Oh, how, how do I do this? How do I do that? Real talk, real. We, we, we got everything. Hey, look, these elites are fucking scared, man. They watch our videos more than we watch them. Oh, okay? Great, great fear fell upon yeah. them. Mm -hmm. the uh, uh, if this is not a serious thing, right? Well, why are they fucking... Uh, uh, deleting brothers' pages left and right. They just made uh, brothers just made uh, uh, new accounts. All of a sudden, they get deleted immediately. Ooh. Oh, I got you. All right, I got you, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I guess we're fucking. You know, I thought we were just big jokes, though. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, I got you. I'm gonna land back off of what you said. Here it is, James chapter two, verse nineteen. Thou believest that there is one power. Thou doest well. 
the devils also believe and tremble. They they know it's real. The elites, they know it's real, man. Mm -hmm. Right? But they so prideful, bro. You got to read Wisdom of Song in the second chapter, that whole chapter, man. They still prideful by the end of the day. It's like, they... Then a nigga woman, bro. <laughs> like, that's where the nigga woman got it from. Let yeah, me correct yeah, yeah. myself. That's where they got it from, bro. Mm -hmm. So, even though they wrong, they like, nah, they're going to go to the grave with the shit. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, okay. Nah, no. Nah, fuck. Fuck Esau, bro. And any oh, motherfucker that choose him to be his master, man. You're all fucking losers. If you're not in the truth, you're a fucking loser. Yeah. We're fucking winning. You're losing. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you say about me. You're a fucking loser. You ain't making it. At you're all. not fucking making it. Hey, it's like it's like y'all like Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Y'all got all them cards laid out thinking you about to defeat. I got a trump card on your ass. Like <laughs> No nigga, you you already lost. I'm just letting you do all this shit. You activated my trap card. Right, my trap card. Right. <laughs> you activated my trap card. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. It's like it's okay. Yeah. Uh, Matthew 19 and 23. Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a need of a of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Can I explain that uh, of the uh, eye of the needle? Yes. Mm -hmm. So during that time period, you know, you had um, uh, 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 basically uh, camels, they were used as like horses, you know, out there, you know, what they would call the Middle East. And like the eye of the camel was basically like a very, very small like passageway for a camel. And where the, basically the camel actually had to get on its like, uh, uh, it's what called the knees. Is their knees. Their knees. Down. You know, it'll pass the crotch down, as the brother said. Right. And you, you got to think about it. You know, a, a camel is still an animal, stubborn. Yeah. And that's hard to get them to crouch down. Not only just crouch down, but walk through, through it. Yeah. So, tight ass, it's a tight ass fucking tunnel, man. The Lord said it's easier for that to happen than a rich man getting into the kingdom. Because a rich man is going to be worried about what? Their belongings, what they own. How do I maintain this? Calm. They don't want to lose, basically. You know what I'm saying? And it's true, you're going to lose things. You're going to take L's, okay? Mm -hmm. All right? It was an example of that. The little talk of this man, he said, you got to keep all the balls up from his youth. He said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. The Lord had, um, you know, an example of that in the scriptures. The Lord, you know, there was a man that came up and he was uh, basically telling the Lord that he had kept all the balls up from his youth. All right? You know, and he did everything basically right. The Lord told him to go sell everything he had and follow him. And, you know, he couldn't do it, man. Right, yep. so he said he walked, he walked off basically on the Lord, man. He had too much riches, you know. So yeah, that, that, that bags up what, uh, you know, the brother is going, going into, man. It's hard. It's going to be hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom because they're too consumed with things that's that they own. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's in that same passage. Yeah, 19th yeah, 19, 19, 19, 19 chapter, that whole chapter. Mm -hmm. that. What is it for a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul? Yeah, so, yeah, you know? uh -huh. But I, I got some. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, it says, it. Ecclesiastes 5 and 12. The sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he eat little or much. But the abundance of the rich will not suffer him to sleep. Oh, so yeah. these motherfuckers, they can't even sleep at night time. Worried about their yeah. money. Worried about this here investment. That here. They're so worried about these carnal, worldly ass things, you know. They can't even sleep and get good rest, you know? It's funny that you uh, brought that out because I just saw uh, uh -huh. a little reel on Instagram. And it, of course, a bitch talking shit. Even though she's got, you know, she wanted a rich man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she's like, oh, she said something. Uh, you, you always want a rich man to till, and then she started uh, uh, filming her man just constantly working. And then, you know, it was like a whole reel on that. But this dude was literally working when he was uh, getting up in the morning. You know, while they're at the pool on vacation, you know, at the poolside, you know, uh, on vacation. No break. Well, while they're at dinner, you know what I'm saying? On his yeah, phone, right. like checking shit. They, 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 bro, they just gotta keep working, 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 yeah. working. They, they, bro, they get no fucking rest. Okay, get this. And look, y'all shot's giving us the real rest, man. That's right. We're not gonna have to worry about uh, uh, a fucking job in the kingdom. Are you right. fucking kidding me? Our job is to, to, to serve y'all about Shimei Al Shah, to be that priesthood. Okay? That's gonna be our job. But all that, that, that. That, that minute shit, that tedious shit, we're not gonna have to worry about that. We're not gonna have to worry about uh, farming, uh, uh, keeping our house clean, okay, raising children. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, right. we're gonna have slaves to handle our light work. You know what I'm saying? Right. But this, this is Sirach. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sirach 31 and 1, 1, 2, 3, uh, Sirach 31. Watching for riches consumeth the flesh, and the care thereof driveth away sleep. Watching care uh, watching care will not let a man slumber, as a sore uh, disease breaketh sleep. The rich man hath great labor in gathering riches together, and when he resteth, he is filled with his delicacy. So they're always up. They're always concerned about uh, their bottom line. Yes, yeah. How much if, if they're bleeding money anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they don't want to let it go, you know? They worry about the employees who's stealing, who's doing this. Yeah, you know, exactly. This, 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 yeah. This, 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 Watching the, the cameras yeah. for, you know, going yeah. back to the, today's uh, work. It's like a casino. Yeah, it's oh. all shit. <laughs> hey, man, he, he started losing God. his mind, bro. Yeah. Uh, you remember that one dude, uh, uh, yeah. he started snapping on him because they yeah. had uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 three different slots to hit jackpot. Yeah. He started tweaking, bro. He's like, you didn't uh, ah, expect it too. after the first uh, one? Right. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. shit, man. He yeah, started going. don't need to work here. <laughs> yeah, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, you know? But he was but they, they they were always looking at those cameras though. You know what I'm saying? Every day just just watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. We don't have to worry about that in the kingdom, man. No. Yeah. This is uh, Isaiah 10 and 20. And it should come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the house of the Holy One of Israel in truth. And that word stay goes into a, a trust, mm -hmm. okay? So we're, we're, uh, the elect are not going to put their trust into the, the oppressor anymore. They're going to put their trust into Yahweh Hashem al right. And you're seeing the, the, you know, the great awakening happening, mm -hmm. okay? All right? Jake is waking up everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere now. It's not just here in the States. It's all, all over South America, all over the islands, Africa, Europe. All right? I know they were uh, even in, in certain parts of, uh, of uh, uh, Asia, you know what I'm saying? You know, you don't really have camps out there because a lot of those countries are communists and all that. Heads chopped off. Yeah. Straight up. That's in the mirror. You know? <laughs> but they're watching, you know? Yeah. yeah. The word's not going void. Yeah. yeah, they're getting edified. You know? The electors wake up. Brothers in Australia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it is a, a, a miracle, man. Yeah. We're, we're watching a miracle take place. You know, the Lord said He's going to set uh, um, us in order before the, their eyes. Yeah, an altar you know? in the midst of the yeah. So the Lord. Lord He's keeping his promises, man. Yeah. And this shit that, that you're hearing right now, look, man, look, the big, the real big bank is coming, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And it's going to shake the earth. You know? Yep. Yeah. If you guys want a fireworks show, okay. The Lord's going to give you a fireworks yeah. show. Yeah. 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 That's right. Rock. Y'all will be feel to the fire, though. Yeah. Exactly. Uh huh. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful after this, you know what I'm saying? And after the Lord destroys this, like we were saying in class, I believe, this is the last captivity. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. This is going to be the last oh, one, man. We don't have to deal with Esau, the heathens ruling over us. Nope. Our people out of their minds, we don't have to deal with that. We're, the, we're actually going to be in the, the new covenant. <laughs> Brother. Brother. All right. Pure peace. <laughs> hey, uh, there was a special at Costco. They're selling oh, some man. Maxwell's. I don't know if you saw that or not. Oh, yeah. They got the oh. <laughs> oh, shit. It's a lot, right. man. I, I just had to bring it out, man. Because it's just ridiculous, though, that whole New Covenant shit, man. All right? It's just fucking retarded. It literally is. You know? We're, we're going to be in that New Covenant. You know, uh, it's going to fully be, be implemented once we get out of this place. Then we're not going to sin anymore, and everything's going to be A-OK, -okay, man. Mm -hmm. When we're changed. Yeah, when we're changed. That shit crazy. You're saying you're in the new covenant, but you can't even see, bro. You're fucking overweight, all right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wearing glasses. Yeah, we even Straight up, bro, you know what I mean? He blind two ways. Oh, wow. shit, bro. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, like I said, why are you still teaching? If you're in the new covenant, you're not even... 
I'm not supposed to teach you. He, he's being one of those examples, man. Mm -hmm. It just shows the power of the Lord, man, because he did say he's going to give a strong delusion when they believe in the lie for Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then somebody got to be the worst niggas on the planet, which is the ones that was in the truth in the back of the world, man. Yep. Oh, that, that I just yeah. want to uh, 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 say this, too. Uh, uh, what about your boys out there in Mississippi, man? They haven't taught in three months. Damn. Did they get kicked out of GMS? Yeah, that's old. <laughs> this is old, Doc. But what I'm saying is. Yeah. They haven't, they haven't taught in three months. Are they doing? They're done, bro. And look, it's coming to you too. It's, it's, it's going to hit you soon too. Oh, All right. They, hey, we've been saying it. God. It's only a matter of time. Yeah. I, I, I've seen this story many of times, bro. You're not, you're nothing new. That check engine light's been on for a while. Your fucking engine's about to fucking combust, man. Yep. Fucking through, bro. I'm trying to fight for his life in quicksand. Damn. Damn. Keep fighting. You, 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 you gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> okay. but, uh, you you all three minutes? No, I got one. Oh. That's uh, Proverbs 4 and 5. It says, Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her and she shall keep thee. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is the principal thing, so wisdom is the chief, the number one thing. Right. It says, therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. So if you have that base wisdom, now that understanding, anything else that comes to you, you still got it. See, these niggas are children, and they get money, get women, get a car, some shit, and what happens? They destroy themselves. They get money, and so they have a surplus amount of drugs, they don't and die. They get money, they paranoid as fuck. Now they got the head on the store, they got a shitey mask mm -hmm. on. My cousin hopped in the car. I wasn't driving. You know, God <laughs> cousin hopped in the car. He hopped in the car, quit the shitey mask. He leaned in the car seat all the way back. Damn, man, it's a fishbowl, man. God damn. Nigga, I can wear this Bugged shit. Bugged out. Bugged out, man. That's that's how niggas in the world be. Niggas be having fucking dreams plaguing them, man. Huh? Like oh, yeah. that nigga 50 Cent, somehow dreams niggas put a text on me. Yep. Yeah. That's how niggas be, man. They dream yeah. somebody smoking them and wake up and shit. Oh, shit. They go outside, they, they drive the same route that's in wow. the dream. They, they don't know if they time yet or not. Yeah. Until they time called, man. Mind playing tricks on me, bro. Get them, yeah. boys. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I ain't got that wisdom, man. I'm getting, uh, getting the wisdom to feel y'all about Shaman Shah. Yeah. If you don't feel the Lord, but you, you, you have no purpose. You'll do whatever the hell you want to do until you destroy yourself. That's the only thing that that, that is the end of death. It says when that sin is conceived, bring forth death. Mm. It's the book of Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. The man that one was out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. Mm. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. So, you know, hey, if you leave this truth, man, your ass is grass, man, pretty That's much. It. At least you repent, man. Okay? And he was bringing up, you know who, all right, the glizzy gobbler, <laughs> so and so forth, right? Oh, hey, man, you know, and, 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 and these other guys that fell out, man, they, they threw, man. All right? All right? They love this world. They love the pledges of this world, man. And you're not going to be rich, man. All right, you're not gonna get that bank account that, that you, you're trying to earn, man. All right, right, just the point right here. Yeah, you, started, uh, the, you know, they're like a gambler, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They started, you know, you know coming up because they were with you, how about Shimao Shot? They started doing a bunch of side bets, you know, uh, a bunch of side bets, you know, side bets that are costing them their chips, man. Dang. All right, instead of just all in with you, how about Shimao Shot and getting the W, now they're like, and they just they, they just keep getting their shit taken. Oh, now they're just fucking through it. Now they actually owe the house. Yeah. Damn. This is the point I wanted to make because we're going into it. Verse 18. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous and the transgressor for the upright. So you know, you 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 uh, you know you, you wicked ass niggas, man, you people that's of the world, you're gonna be arrested for the righteous. Alright? That one third. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's just they gotta come. These like Elder Brook was saying, these niggas, y'all niggas gotta be in that lot, man. Yeah, yeah. The Lord said, uh, I'm gonna give other men's lives for thee. Mm -hmm. You know? It's all about the elect, you know? 
It's all about the Lord. Kind. That's all I was about to say. It's all about the Lord shows you or not. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. Yeah, I think <laughs> Rapaya brought it earlier. That's Zachariah. You know that two thirds, a two third part, got to go through it, and they're going to be cut off. They got to feel that wrath of the Lord. Right. You know that Isaiah chapter 32 got to come, man. You know they got to they got to feel that fire, man. They gonna be that sacrifice, mm -hmm. being Boswell. Yeah. Let me get the last two scriptures. Uh, Isaiah 30, 36. Okay. Hey, let me get your scripture. Uh, wisdom of Solomon 19 and 1. As for the ungodly, wrath came upon them without mercy unto the end, for he knew before what they would do. So the Lord knows our thoughts, man. He knows who his elect are, and he knows who the two thirds are, man. They're gonna learn. The hard way, you know, death by pain. Yeah. Isaiah 33 and 6, you're saying? Yeah. I, I got it. I got it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, you want to start at 6? Yeah, um, yeah, 6. Let's go. This the book. This the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the shall be stability of thy times. Yeah, now, and I stated this to the brothers. You know, that's actually taking place even right now. I know we use that uh, uh, for the majority of the time, you know, for the near future, but even right now, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is giving you a, a sound mind. This scripture, is, you know, saying Timothy, you know, the rest of our people are legit stricken with madness. Look at them; they still believe in the American dream right now. They're shooting off fireworks, and, and yeah, I'll say this, mind you, the majority of these people who are sending off the fireworks are in their 30s, 40s, 50s. They're not even little kids. We're talking about grown adults setting off fireworks. Yep. They're gonna be doing this all fucking night, man. Yeah. All, night. all fucking night until it hits about one, two, you know, in the morning. Then they're gonna fucking drive on Lakeshore Drive, crash into some shit, get on 994, start shooting at each other. This is what's gonna fucking happen, man. Yeah, it shit. It already happened, bro. At fucking eight in the morning. Yeah, the fucking uh, five people get shot, man. Mm -hmm. It's fucking eight in the morning. Five people got shot. Three kids, two adults. Come on, man. But this is what our, our, our people are, are, are into, man. So hey, th th this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is keeping us stable. You know, it's keeping us faithful, all right? Keeping our minds clear. Because we can be a part of this shit, man. We can all be that, you know, the, you know, your, your mom's fucking, you know what I'm saying? Your parents, you know, cook out right now. Mm -hmm. yep. Saw all your cousins, drank some yak. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm it's saying? Hit, hit the blunt. Yep. Oh, free. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Free. You know they gonna give it to you for free. And you get into a fight with your cousin. He's at right. <laughs> <By> eight. <laughs> shootout with your cousin. All right. Bro, I, know, I know niggas getting shootouts with their family. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We could have been in that shit. That shit. Fuck that. That shit. Man. That shit. It'd be a slingshot on <laughs> Lakeshore Drive. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Playing some fucking oldies, loud as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit, you know those motherfuckers are out right now. That is what they had on. Yeah, somebody's yeah. fuck is out right now, bro. It says, he Back in Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is his treasure. That's right. Exactly. Eh? The fear of the Lord is our treasure. And why is that? Get that Psalm 32 and 7. Uh, this Psalms 32 and 7 it says, Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt can pass me about with songs that's of like, deliverance. That's, that's, that's a good one too. Oh, Shit. And that's yeah, good yeah, That's yeah, a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. This uh, this uh Psalms 34 and 7. It says, the angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and deliver of them. Mm. Exactly. The, the, the Lord has angels encamped around us, you know, those that fear the Lord. And he delivers uh, those that, uh, that fear him. This is why this is our treasure. Not no fucking, uh, you know, just some numbers in the bank account, of course, black people. All right? A fucking blunt. A, a, a block. That shit ain't gonna do nothing in the days to come. Yep. All right? Shit, that's going to be a fucking liability in the days to come. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Shit, even right now, people want your fucking car. They want your woman. Yep. They want your fucking, you know, stage. Covetous. We, see, we brought it out, yeah, in class. They're covetous, man. Yeah. They want everything that you got. Mm. And see, eventually, they're going to want that, that spirit that's on you. Hey, but you know what? You can't buy this. This is a gift. Yep. Faith is a gift from you. How about Shimei Okay? So that's 
that's why you got to be grateful and thankful every day that you have this truth. Yeah. And don't take it for granted at all. Because mm -hmm. look, hey, those guys that, that, that have taken this, you know, this ministry, this truth for granted, they're, they're going to regret it. Tell them. Now just watch. Oh. All these guys that fell out, man, I'm telling you, when shit's going to start getting more real, guess where they're going to start go going back to? Guys you haven't seen in a fucking decade, guess where they're going to start going back to? But it's going to be too late. Hey, it's, it's done, buddy. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're going to be the, the, those five foolish virgins. Yeah. That's spirit. Fucking Dry as hell. Just fucking do it. No, I can't give you oil, bro. Because if I give you oil, it's not going to be enough for me. That's it. That's, that's me. That's the spirit. And that's why the scriptures say, what? Work out your own oh, salvation. Oh, you uh -huh. you, you got to work this out yourself, man. All right? Now, of course, we help each other out from time to time. All right? Because, you know, hey, if you see your brother fall, whether it be spiritually, financially, whatever it is, you know, you try to help him out to your best, of, uh, to the best of your ability. Right? But, yeah, you got to keep pushing, you know, for yourself. You know, because that, that man could, shit, he could fall and not get back up. And if you keep trying to pick him up, then that, that might be your ass then. Mm -hmm. Alright, but, uh, anybody else there? Hey, with that, you know, we're going to end this lesson. Hopefully it was edifying. With that, we're going to give all praises. Out our hand, glory to. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom. 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 Shalom.